After nearly being sued for $4 million by a major games publisher, Nick Pelling, a British computer programmer who worked 20 years on video games, became jaded. Nick left the industry. Trying to salvage his career, he went on to receive his MBA from Kingston University. After finishing his MBA in 2002, Nick decided to tie all of his skills together, business, games, and programming, to create a new path. His idea was to combine video game interface with consumer electronic device, like ATM, to make the experience fast and enjoyable. He called it gamification. In 2003, Nick started a one-man consulting company, Conundra Limited, based on his new direction. But after three years of no significant customer interest, the company folded. According to Nick, the whole idea was simply a decade too early. Right around the dissolve of Conundra, another company was starting up around gamification. In Silicon Valley in 2005, a former IBM employee and computer science graduate, Raja Paharia, started a company called Bunchball. In the beginning, Bunchball supplied businesses with a platform for gamifying their site and product through social games and community. Bunchball launched their first game-changing project. The project was for NBC hit TV show, The Office. Come on, Michael, you're, you're interrupting. You're kidding me, God! You say right on the silent but deadly, and then you expect me not to make farting noises with my mouth? Bunchball worked with NBC to turn their office destination, Dunder Mifflin, into a compelling online office. Fans would apply to work there and climb the corporate ladder by playing various games and completing various user-generated challenge. The leaderboard showed employee point score for various corporate challenges. And by completing challenges and tasks, fans are awarded with Shrewbucks, a virtual currency, which they use to buy office-branded virtual goods to decorate their virtual desk. That's a lot of virtual. By adding those elements, the office successfully increased engagement with their fans and kept them coming back for more. At the same time, other companies were beginning to consider user experience. Social media was booming, and the iPhone was moments away from launching. These simultaneous events would build an environment for gamification to grow in ways that Nick Pelling never dreamed. Tune in next time when gamification goes social, mobile, and local 